an exploratory study of critical success factors for SMEs in Kenya, conducted in 2017, found that 70% of SMEs fail within the first three years due to, among others, challenges in accessing capital and market. To navigate these challenges, small businesses are reinventing their operations to save costs and streamline the workflow in order to survive the harsh operating climate. Uh, integrating different applications and building systems which can help them connect with their customers, connect internally with, uh, uh, with their uh, staffs and uh, be more collaborative because as you know if you get your teams engaged and they can engage with the external it means your business has a lot of chances of growing. Experts believe a real-time communication, website and e-commerce hosting are some of the ways that small businesses can adapt in the transition to hybrid remote working if they are to save their businesses from failure. So how, do, how is this possible? We want to create a smooth working environment. This means because of COVID, we learned, because of the pandemic, we learned that there's a lot of things that we can do online and even remotely. Before COVID, we all used to go to the office, right? But now after COVID and the pandemic, we learned that, wait, it's possible to work remotely and also be efficient. So a lot of challenges that organizations have had is the collaboration. How do you work online and remotely and still be efficient, right? However, SMEs are also wary of experiences from some form of cyber attacks, with 81% of them, according to IT firm Dimension Data, having had to draw new security strategies. Yeah, in, in Kenya, you know, there was many, many things to do. Um, and I guess one of the biggest uh, opportunity that I've seen is uh, enabling the country to have some uh, um, data residency, national data residency. So, so Kenya has now an act uh, that can protect uh, your personal identities and uh, your personal information. Currently, small businesses contribute about 40% to the country's GDP. Alan Naoko, Lunchtime News.